So, you want to know how to draw with a mouse? Well, go ahead and give Stuart Little a pencil and paper because we're about to get this thing started. Hey guys, welcome back to by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in our favorite drawing application in the world. Um, and we're, we're gonna be learning how to draw with a mouse. This will work in any program, of course. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about this because you guys don't have tablets, um, which I totally get because I didn't have a tablet for a long time. Um, but today I'm using my mouse, so you can hear it. There's my mouse. Uh, I also have my fan on, so it might be a little loud, but it's like 100 degrees in my apartment, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, so we're going to go up to uh, File or just hit Start New, and we're going to create a new image here. It's going to be 3,000 by 3,500 with the height. We're going to uh, create that, and what you're going to see here is that um, drawing with a mouse, for those of you that haven't tried it, is extremely terrible. So if I try and draw a circle with my mouse, yeah, first of all, it's not a very good circle. Second of all, when we zoom in here, you see I'll have all this, like, rough edges and all this stuff and all this terrible and if I was drawing this with a with a uh, tablet it would look much smoother much cleaner of course now we always have the brush smoothing ability over here on the right hand side you can go to tool options um, if you don't have this over here you can always go to I believe it's windows and workspace and then change these over here and they all have a different thing uh, if you leave it on default tool option tool option should be right there change it from basic to weighted or stabilizer and then it's drawing a circles a little tiny bit easier you see I did that a little bit faster but you can see it's much smoother and then of course stabilizer uh, is even smoother than that and you can see you can get some pretty good circles out of this but it's much different more, more difficult to draw with this on a regular so something that I do when I animate when I animate I don't draw with just my tablet. I use the tablet, but for the most part, I actually use the shape tools because my style is very circular and, and very shape based anyway. So, um, I have my size on 40. I think that's that's fine. We have my size on 40. What, I'm, what I usually do is I go to the circle tool here, and um, this is so easy to do with, with a mouse um, because it's shapes and you don't have to worry about drawing anything with a mouse, and you can go and edit things that you need to in the future. So, Let's get this started. I'll go ahead and use the circle tool and hold down shift. And you see if I hold down shift while I click and drag, you see the circle is a, a, a regular circle instead of like being able to manipulate it like this. Hold down shift, it will pop into a circle. Now we can just let go, and now you can see we have a perfect, perfect circle. Um, now, what I usually like to do is I'll just go ahead and make a new layer, and you can see how we can just make really nice circles um, just all over the place. Now I'm going to go back to our initial layer right here of the big head and then hit E to erase, go to our brush tool, and then just erase this line so like it doesn't go through his eyeball. And this is actually my style that I use when I animate things. So I'm going to duplicate that, grab this, just move it over. You can see how we can get a really nice head just instantly. This is this is the style that I draw. This is my style for when I draw, when I do animations. So you can see, um, so you can see how easy it is to get a nice style super easily. Now, for a mouth, the, what I usually do for mouths is, let me just hide this, um, lines that you have to have not a sphere or a circle or something like that, you can use this tool over here, which is called the Bezier Curve Tool. And this is similar to the tool that's in GIMP or in any other the photo manipulation application or painting application for that matter. And what this will do is you can go ahead and click a point and then I'm not holding down anything right now. It's just following my cursor. And then I'll click another point. And then I'll click and drag this time instead of letting go instantly. I'll click and drag. You can see how we can make a nice curve um, or a, just a, a slight curve, a really extreme curve, or even more extreme a curve. I'm going to make a curve similar to that. And then just instead of doing anything else, I'm going to hit enter. And now you can see what this has done. It's just made a very, very thick line because we're on 100. I forgot we were on 100. Let me put this back on 40 and do the, get that again. I'm sorry. I forgot we were on 100 for the eyeball. All right. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> All right. This one over here, we can get rid of that. Just drag a box down here over that delete all right select oh, select deselect all right cool so now there's a couple ways to do this um, maybe you don't want these lines to be super edged like this um, which of course I don't either they're, they're like obviously really thick and I want them to fade away so what we're gonna do is there's a couple of things like I said you can just go ahead and use the Bezier curve tool again and hit eraser so hit E on your keyboard or just click this up here and then kind of drag once there click there and then click there and kind of drag like this to kind of curve it and then hit enter which is obviously not the most optimal way because it's not going to give you really exactly what you want it's difficult to judge like that so what I like to do is I like to go to the brush tool the freehand brush tool and then change the brush smoothing to from basic to stabilizer and then just go ahead and kind of just draw it and erase it so you can see how we can get the really nice smooth line weight 
by erasing it away. Like that. So now we have this line that is now, now it looks like we drew it with a tablet, but we have not. I'm still using my mouse. Still my mouse. No tablet whatsoever. No pen, no nothing. So the cool thing is, is that we can do this for any line. So if I were to go ahead and go back to the Bezier curve tool and then draw a second line off of this, hit enter. Oh, what weird color are we on? Uh, line, to curve it up a little bit, enter. And then I want to do another line over here. So like this is the mouth style that I use. You can see how uh, I can just erase this line as well. No, oh, make sure you hit E on your keyboard first for eraser. And there we go. Very, very, very cool. Very easy to do. And uh, I want to show you guys one final trick here before we get off. That's not very smooth right there, but just take your time. You get the idea. I don't want to take up too much time trying to get a line perfect. There we go. That's close enough. Um, now, what I also do is, well, let's go back to the head real quick. So this is what I do for my head. Um, for when I color things in, let me actually get rid of the eyeballs. Um, let's just make a new circle altogether. You know what? Just forget that. We'll make a new circle altogether. So back to this, uh, the circle tool. You can see I'm going to make a new layer. And then just draw, hold down shift. And there we go. So now you can see what we have here is a, a nice circle. So let me go ahead and add a layer beneath this. So we'll hit the plus button down here. And now this layer is beneath the um, circle layer we just created. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab the um, the paint bucket tool. So now maybe you want to color some things in because of course you want to color your art with, with, your, with your mouse. Um, so the thing you're going to make sure to do is you're going to make sure that when you select the paint bucket tool, you want to make sure that this grow selection in the tool options is on two pixels. Um, you don't want to go too high, you don't want to go too low, but you definitely want to be on two pixels. And the other thing you want to make sure that this is on is not current layer. This sample has to be on all layers. Um, and this didn't usually be like this, they changed it, but now it has to be on all layers. So that's this is the GUI now. Alright, so now when we click inside of the circle, even though we're not on that layer, we're on the layer beneath it, which is empty. Uh, when we click on that, you can see that it fills in with whatever color we're selecting now. Of course, I don't want this to be black, so I'm going to go and change the color, Control-Z, and then um, just change it to the color that I typically use for my skin tone and animations, which is extremely saturated orange. There we go. So now you can see we have a nice filled-in circle. Now, maybe you want to shade this. I don't typically shade my art or animations, but maybe you want to. I have done this in the past. Maybe you want to. Let's add a layer above this, so hit the plus button again. Then on top of that, we once again have the shading shadow color, which is about that color right there. Hit OK, pop that in there, and then we go ahead, go back to the brush tool, pump it all the way up to 1,000, hit the eraser on, and then just literally just click once, and then that's that's literally all we have to do, to be honest with you, and then change the opacity down, and now you can see we have a nice, nice shadow, and this works for anything else as well. If, you do, if you're doing the eyes, if you're doing anything else, if you guys do want to see some more drawing with a mouse, or you do want to see more drawing in general, that is going to be coming up very soon on the channel once again. We're going to be doing a lot more drawing and art on the channel very soon. So, hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. Hope you always enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.